be of assistance? I'm, uh, <laughs> a ghost! Hey, mister, you, you forgot something! Arr! Well, <laughs> what do you know? A baby ostrich. Arr! And your name is Ozzy. Hmm. 121 Chestnut Street. Oh. <laughs> Guess I'll have to deliver you myself. Just follow me, Ozzy. shouldn't eat junk like that, Ozzy. You're liable to get indigestion. Turn this umbrella. Everything's okay now, Ozzy. Let's go. Now this will keep you out of trouble till I get you delivered. story of police patrol. All right, you guys, let them have it. In the car and after a men. <laughs> okay, Murphy, release the bloodhound. <laughs> At last you have arrived. Come in, come in. I have been waiting for you. Well, looks like Ozzy will be well taken care of. Taxidermist? Oh, poor, poor Ozzy. I'm too late. <laughs> I prepare you for stuffing. Stop! Don't you dare hurt my little friend. <laughs> well, Ozzy, that ought to keep. 
keep you out of trouble? Surprise! It's the cat! Run for your life! Rube, Z -Z -Z Zeke, Ezra, L -L 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 Luke, Abner, and 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 <laughs> Louis. <laughs> La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar. Gracias for the ride, amigo. When it's notches. Saludos, amigos. That means hello, fellas, in Mexico, you know. It's only Cousin Hyman back from his vacation in Mexico. Say, what's the matter, fellas? Aren't you glad to see me? Hyman, we haven't eaten in weeks. That cat up there is driving us crazy. Cat, huh? Well, I learned lots of tricks in Mexico about El Gato. That means cat, you know. Just leave the Cousin Hyman. Oh, great, Caballero. Uh-uh. Amigo. Okay, fellas, on with the fiesta. Gee, thanks, Hyman. 
targets for our scare raids for the next few weeks are outlined on this map. Now, what is the most important thing in a scare raid? Surprise? Speed? No, the most important element is the weather. That's true. But who can tell us the weather weeks in advance? The weather prophet, the groundhog, you fools. Okay, we'll go ask him. No, I don't want this fouled up. Our fair weather friend, Casper, will do it. All right, I'll do it. Just so poor Mr. Groundhog isn't scared by any of you. Mr. Groundhog, Weather Bureau. Temporarily out of business. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Groundhog. How did you get in here? Don't you believe in signs? I'm sorry. I heard you crying, and I thought I might be of some help. Say, where is your shadow? Why, uh... Oh, don't bother to explain. I know just how badly you feel. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost, and ghosts don't have shadows. A ghost? But a friendly ghost, Mr. Groundhog. Well, then maybe you can help me. How can a groundhog tell the weather without his shadow? I guess he can't. Why? <laughs> that I'm ruined. I'm ruined. Golly, this is terrible. Where did your shadow go? Who knows? I just woke up one day and it was gone. No notes, nothing. Gosh, Mr. Groundhog, I'm going to start looking for your shadow right now. Oh, thank you, Casper. I wonder why Mr. Groundhog's shadow would want to leave him. He's such a nice person. Gee, if I had a shadow, I'd never feel alone. Say, it's a ghost. <laughs> You're not alone now, old-timer. I hope you think a groundhog shadow is good enough for you. But you belong to Mr. Groundhog. I'll attach myself to whomever I may want to. Hi, teddy bear. Nice day, isn't it? It sure is, Gasper. Hey, why didn't you scare that guy? Because it's not right. What? <laughs> Don't tell me I've attached myself to a namby-pamby. <laughs> Excitement is what I want, but not with a friendly ghost. Wait! Mr. Groundhog needs you. <laughs> I'm getting out of here before I'm all light and no shadow. Jasper, <laughs> save me! Save me! Wait, Mr. Hunter, we're chasing a shadow, not a rabbit. Yikes! Ghosts and shadows! The woods are haunted! Do you think the groundhog will take me back, holes and all? I'm sure you'll patch them up together somehow. It's certainly taken Casper a long time to get the weather information. We should have gone ourselves. I never should have trusted him. He's too good. Then let's go. <laughs> Temporarily out of business? He's not even home. Gee, it's the ghosts. You better hide. Aha, uh -huh, so there you are. And just where is Mr. Groundhog? Uh, isn't he in his burrow? No! Where did you hide him? But I didn't. Don't you try to protect them. You can't fool us. Hold on. You got this all wrong. It's a mud monster. The thickens with scare raids. Let's hide ourselves. Ha, oh, you scared them right out of a scare raid. You mean they were scared of me? Yes, they scare easily. Gosh, but they were mean. Come on, let's see about Mr. Groundhog. Do you see him, Casper? Not a sign anywhere. But why would he leave his burrow? He was under the weather when I saw him last. Let's go up and look around. Good idea. Say, come over here and check these footprints. It's him, all right. I feel it. A perfect fit. They lead right up to that high mountain. Hill of danger. Gosh. Quick, you follow that trail. I'll fly up around the mountain. Oh, I may as well spend all my days here. I'll never see my shadow again. <laughs> Gosh, he could fall off, and it's all my fault. I'm back! I'm back! Whoops! Golly, he was scared right off the cliff by his own shadow. Take it easy, Mr. Groundhog. I've got you. Oh, thank you, Casper, but 
I'm still all alone. I'm sure your shadow doesn't think so. My, my shadow? Yes, I'm sure it's not mine. Oh, I just know we're going to have fair weather now that my shadow is back. trying to be friendly. does everything you do.
in my shadow. a fresh cut crow rubbed on the scalp will make hair grow. Hmm. That sounds logical. I dreams of Jeannie with the cold black hair. She loves my feathers. They so thick, so rare. I have no worries and I'm feeling swell. And all the cats what bothers me Man, how'd I get sucked into this? First, ruined pot till good and hot. What'd that get up to? Uh -uh. I gotta go where the wild goose flies. Only living mortal what knows the secret for curing baldness. The secret? Uh, what secret? Why the secret of regrowing fresh hair? I got a date in a half an hour. Could it be ready by then? Sure enough. Just leave your head in my hands, boss. First, we massages the scalp well. And then uses this secret tonic handed down to me by my sainted granny. Now, just a few drops, then we rubbed it in real good. And presto! More hair! Well, what do you know? Now to escape that hair brain. Gee! And with coils, too! <laughs> Me hair fell out again. Hmm, uh, well, um, uh, well, you see, boss, your hair being the rare type, we have to use the mud pack treatment. Mud pack treatment? Hmm. First, we apply the mud base. And then we plant the hair seeds in the follicles. Then we mobilize the molecules with a liquid revitalizer. I feel something. There you are, boss. Who said grass don't grow on a busy street? Uh, by the way, do you like the color? Gorgeous, boss. Gorgeous. Came up again. Go on the boss. 
We gotta get rid of this dandruff right away. Dandruff? Yowza, boss, you're next. Now, first we stimulate the cranium with a stimulating massage. really tingling. Then activate the roots with a special tonic. Now, the singe. <laughs> and we tops it off with an egg shampoo. That's all. Next customer. So long, Baldy. <laughs> Boss, boss, let's not be splitting hairs. The boss, genuine natural hair. Gee, you really did it. Thanks. Hmm, just in time for me day. Could it be the spring da dee da da that makes the curly dog care? Oh no!
Gesundheit. Hä?
Freddy Fright. Here. Spooky. Here. Casper. Here. Me? All the characters of Cartoon Land are here to honor you. To honor me? That's right. Take your place on the throne. And here to greet you is your good friend, Spike. Hiya, Catnip, old pal. Spike! Hey, Catnip. Remember the time we were both romancing the same chick? Yeah. I'm in the mood for love. <laughs> Simply because you're near me. Heart and soul, I beg to be adored and lost control. And tumble overboard gladly. <laughs> You sure are a sucker for a left. Catnip, your three pals, Reuben, Dubin, and Louie. Hiya, Catnip! Hello, fellas! How about that time, Catnip, when you were asleep in the drugstore and... Sidekick Buzzy to pay his respects. Hello, Catnip. Buzzy, my friend. Catnip, remember the time you had a cold and I tried to cure it? <laughs> Hold it, boys! Boss, the best way to cure that cold is to use the inhalator. Hmm. That sounds logical. This will clear your head right up. Take a good, deep breath. <laughs> well, that's the end of that cold. <laughs> it didn't work. I took out the toad. You discouraged us too easy, boss. As my sainted granny used to say, there's nothing like a good hot drink to bust up a bad head cold. This is a surefire remedy, boss. Mm. Sure are a full guy for a gag. And here's your 
our lifelong buddy, Herman. Greetings, Catnip. My best friend, Herman. Catnip, remember the time we was having a jam session and... <laughs> future look black? Do you have jangled nerves? Are you going to pieces? Well, then pull yourself together and take a vacation in the Catskill Mountains. Yeah, a vacation. That's what I need. At
They're having ice cream and cake. Cake? They're coming, Ma. Now here's Oscar's birthday present. <laughs> Say goodbye, Ma. <gasps> My baby. Here's to Oscar, hip hip hooray, a friend to the end. Oscar's okay. Oh, my gosh. It's that dopey Huey. Yeah, the village Frankenstein. What a goon. Here comes your present, Oscar. Oh, boy. Cake. Um... Nobody gets any cake till Oscar makes a wish and blows out the candles. See? We hope you get your wish, Oscar! I'll blow them out for you, Oscar. <laughs> Get rid of that bird brain. Hey, fellas, I got an idea. Yeah. 
Am I still getting hot, fellas? I do it! <laughs> to play with me. <laughs> uh, Buster, how would you like your own birthday party? My own birthday party? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Patty cake, patty cake. One, two, three. Bake a birthday cake. Just for me. First get a pan that's full of dough. And into the oven, it must go. <laughs> ah, that duck meat is like music to me nostrils. Uh, here, see if it's done yet. Yari! Party games. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Take the key and lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. Take the key and lock her up. Gee, that was fun. Let's play some more games. Now, Fatso, in play and follow the leader, you do just like me. Oh, boy, <laughs> this is fun. Catch more flies with candy than with vinegar. Uh, hey, pal! Where are you, pal? Oh, pal! Hey, uh, Buster, a birthday present from me to use. Oh, peppermints! My favorite candy. Hey, pal, yeah, I saved the piece for you. Hooray for Yui! Our very best friend, the Outfox the Fox. Yo! Who got it in the end? Oh. 